Hello and welcome to part 3 of this T62 build. Now I'm going to uh, start work on this section here. I'm going to be uh, adding all these little bits and pieces. Optional some of these pieces. Now here we have the engine cover or grill, if you will. Now this bit easily goes on there, no problem. So I'll just stick that on. Yeah, sorry about the off-camera stuff. Now this next bit, now this is optional. Now you can have the grills or you can have these protective cover panel things, I don't know what they're called, <laughs> these things. Now I've decided I'm gonna go for this option. I was thinking maybe I'll have one and have the other one exposed. Um, in the end, I decided to just have both of them and just use this little bit of photo etch. Again, sorry about the off camera bit, but uh, just gluing these bits on. So yeah, the photo rich part now, I've decided to go for the smaller bit. You do get a cover for this bit as well, but I thought, you know, just to show a little bit of photo rich stuff. So a little bit of super glue on your bottle lid. Put that on where you where you, obviously where you're gonna stick it. Now I did take some doing this because uh, I wanted to press it all in, have it a little bit battered and a bit pushed in because uh, you know Russian tanks are a little bit rough and ready and also Russians tend to ride on the back of their tanks as well still. You know, so the infantry tend to uh, bend things in a bit. So as you can see, I'm pushing it all in. Sorry about the right up there. I'm not on really in the middle. So I'll just add these these bits these bits here. This is part of the hinge mechanism for the engine panel. Engine hatch, I suppose you can call it. So just been doing a bit of filing there, making it all look smooth. As you can see, I've speeded that bit up. So again, bit of, bit, you know, try it dry first and then stick it. Sorry, yeah, off camera again. So there you go. Now this next stage is the, uh, I don't know what you call these bits, the, the I suppose they're track covers. Uh, you know, they're the, the, the side, side panel, side bits. So again, clean them all up. Uh, again, gluing off camera. There's so much footage I had to delete because of uh, I'm not actually getting it. <laughs> in camera but there you go look I do remember every now and then I'm gonna adjust my cam my where my camera angle is and everything to see if that improves things right now the next stage now I'm not gonna um, stick any of these bits on yet but I am gonna stick these bits on um, because uh, the way I spray the way I do my spraying so I'm gonna attach this bit I'm gonna stick this bit on Uh, 
and again dry it dry fit in before sticking see if it all fits nicely and it does so I put a bit of glue on there and then I started having difficulties I had to do a bit more sanding because it, for some reason <laughs> it just didn't fit <laughs> but then it all went together in the end So again, I'm not sticking that bit yet, just leaving that. So this next section, I'm going to be putting together this light protective grill thing. It was a nightmare. A lot of effing and blinding during this stage, I have to admit. Um, I've seen people make these from scratch out of bits of wire. Uh, one day I'm going to attempt to do it, but I'm not brave enough yet. Um, I do make handles in that out of wire. So again, a lot of sanding. Yeah, not the not the best things to go to ever. If you ever put one of these things together, again, I do a lot of off-camera stuff here because. Uh, needs a lot of close-up eye work <laughs> I wish somebody would design these better or models but it went together eventually in the end I'll fold it down so you can't see the the groove marks and the glue marks <laughs> and I ended up sticking it onto the uh, hole as well so now I'm going to do these I think they're extra fuel uh, a lot of uh, modern vehicles have these now I know the Challenger has these like extra storage You know, but the Russians, they've had these extra outside fuel tanks for, well, for ages, since the Second World War. Even before the Second World War, I think. It's not a bad idea, really, having your fuel on the outside. Yeah, but they went together all right. I'll, there's two you do, only I did one, I won't do the other one. Right, and I'm going to do these, uh, all the bits that go on the side panels. So these extra fuel containers as well. Now you have to be really careful here because where they put the uh, the mould is right on a lip. Uh, so you have to carefully cut it off. Really be really careful. And then you have to kind of Oh, you have to get rid of that because it's so obvious again I wish they mould these better they probably do now they'll probably do a bit of slide moulding on these now so they're moulded a lot better but yeah they're a bit of a nightmare if I had money I probably would have got some uh, resin ones In fact, I would have went to town on this kit if I had some money. So yeah, you got to kind of cut it. Oh, it's, it is very difficult because it's such a thin little line, but it did look good in, after I did it all, after my hard work. So again, do a little bit of filing along the edge. You can kind of see. So I'll speed it up again because uh, you get the gist. I've already done it with this one. Yeah. <laughs> Perfectionist. 
So yeah, now you stick these on. You've got the front one and then you've got the back one. Always dry fit first. And this little box thing goes on the other side. I fitted the exhaust off camera. Um, I didn't even film when I fitted the exhaust side. <laughs> there is also a little bit of brass etching that goes on that, which I did as well. So yeah, these these boxes to put together. I've already pre-cut them, and so there's a little bit of sanding still, I think, but uh, mainly it's just putting them together. Sorry for the off-camera stuff. I will uh, sort out my camera angles, maybe get a better clamp that goes over the top. If anyone can recommend one in the comments below, that'd be brilliant. In fact, if you can comment in the comments below, if uh, to make any improvements to my channel and videos, please feel free to comment. I am saving up at the moment for a new light, a new daylight light. I have got one in my other workshop but this is my kitchen workshop i need one for here in here so yeah those boxes went together all right nothing wrong with them Yeah, sorry, off camera. But there you go, there's the boxes. So yeah, uh, now it's these little bits. Um, now you are supposed to attach these when the upper hole is attached to the lower hole. It's probably easier that way uh, because I've decided to do it an awkward way because of the way I did my spraying um, yeah so but still you can still attach these I'll show you <laughs> yeah a bit of sanding off camera stuff now these go here would be better if it was in the middle of the cat of the screen <laughs> Press these down. Now for some reason it kept popping out of that end so I decided to put some uh, some clamps on there to clamp it down. <laughs> Pretty extreme but uh, yeah <laughs> it worked. And repeat the same process for the other side. So that brings us to the end of the uh, video, of this video, of this part, should I say. Uh, join me next time for part four. And please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.